Welcome, Melody Rooters. We're going to be calling you Rooters from now on, okay? Is that okay? I hope so. Anyways, I'm Livia, and we're, you're here with Melody Roots Podcast Radio. Thank you for listening, by the way. And we're going to be talking about becoming a full-time artist. What really does it take? I'd love to hear what you think it takes to become a full-time artist. Um, and maybe some of you already have that experience, and maybe some of you do not, and you are searching for tools to find out how to do that. Well, I think we have everything we need right here at Melody Roots to tell you just that. So make sure you grab your PC, your Mac, or your smartphone. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Tyler Kalinowski, and I support and listen to Melody Roots Podcast Radio with Livia.
Welcome to Melody Roots Podcast Radio. I'm Livia, and today we're going to talk about the five steps that you need to have under your belt to start being a full-time artist. Now, this is for beginners. Um, For all you expert musicians out there, I am sure that you are still um, flying by these, um, these hurdles. So... Um, For all you new musicians out there, I do believe that this list of five things is something that you need to start out with to be a full-time artist. Um, Number one, we're going to talk about commitment. Um, There's many commitments that you need to make to be a full-time artist. Um, Number two, you need to set goals and you need to have a vision to be a full-time artist. Number three, Everyone needs to educate themselves. We're always educating ourselves every day. Um, educate, take the time to educate yourself. Um, I'm sure that you're always learning about things that you're interested in, but actually take the time to, to really know what you need to get started and, and have a plan for yourself. Um, number four, tools. What tools can you use to further yourself, whether you do have certain opportunities or whether if you don't have certain opportunities, what tools can you use? Um, Number five is to budget yourself. Um, You need to have a budget because it does take a little bit of money and it does take a little bit of planning. Um, So that falls back to goals again. Have a goal for a budget. Um... And so, yeah, that brings us to number one again, commitment. There are many commitments that you need to make to be a full-time artist. And um, just to know that your time is valuable. Your time is valuable, and so give yourself the time that you need. If you need to wake up early to accomplish some goals that you've you've set, um, you need to make a commitment to that. And um, yeah, your your time is valuable. Just remember that. Commit to your time. Wake up early if you need to. Um, there's a lot of fears out there. And some of the fears would be not being good enough. If you look at some of your, your other fellow musicians, you feel like, oh, I'm not good enough for that. Don't think that way because you can always better yourself and improve yourself if you're not. Um, And that might not be the case. You might just be tough on yourself. So overcoming the, the way you look, if you don't look a certain way. Now, not everybody needs to be a supermodel to be an artist. And so it's just something that you need to commit to to overcoming and committing to not having enough money. Um, these are all struggles. And so that's why I call them commitments. If you're going to commit to being a full-time artist, you got to go with the struggle as well. And um, if you don't have enough money, you need to get creative and figure out um, what tools do I have that I, I could use right now. Um, one of them would be your phone. You you can get apps, recording apps like um, GarageBand on your phone, depending on what kind of phone you have. Um, maybe you're maybe you're due for a new phone and you need an upgrade. That would be something that you could think about when you get a new phone is get an an upgrade so you can get that app that you need to record. Um, just something to think about. And then um, there's always going to be fear that someone's not going to like you or you're, once again, you're not good enough. Um, That is their perspective. And you're doing what you can do. All you can do is be the best person that you can be right now. And that's that's what you need to know as being a full-time artist. Be the best artist that you can be right now. And that's part of your journey. Just remember, this is part of your story. Um, it might sound funny to some people, but when you do actually make it to where you're going to be, 
um, you can be like, hey, this is how I started. And you can give other people hope as well. So, um, so have your commitments and forget about other people's perspectives. Just be real to yourself. Um, just be yourself. Be real. Um, some more pers- um, some more commitments that you want to think about are setting goals, educating yourself, having the tools, and budgeting yourself. So those are all commitments that you need to think about. Which brings us to number two, our step two of the five is to set goals. Um, first of all, to set a goal, you need to have a vision. Where do you want to end up? Like, how do you envision yourself as an artist fully? And and um, and set goals, small goals to reach that. Um, and while you're doing that, you need to build a fan base. Uh, you need to talk to people. You need to socialize with them. You need to go on social media and interact with them. You need to hand out business cards if you have them. Pick something that you are going to be strong with um, and go for it. So pick one. Pick a social media, social media site and go with it. Um, I think the best way to build a fan base is to get their email address and to have a blog and email your blog to them. Let them know what's going on. Let them know where your shows are going to be, um, that kind of thing. So build your email list. Um, and the people, just remember that the people that are going to stay, they're going to be your super fans. Those are the ones that are going to support you. Um, Number three is education. And you don't necessarily need to go to school. Um, A lot of the schools that teach music is like music theory and you're learning how to be a teacher. Now, if you want to be a performer, that's probably not what you want to do. I'm not going to say that any of that knowledge is not going to be useful because it will be. But um, if you're a youngster and you're starting out, you probably want to if you want to be a performer, you want to start performing. Um, you don't want to learn how to teach. And I'm not saying that that is a bad thing, but um, you maybe want to go to a performing arts school, but sometimes that's not in everyone's means to do so. So educating yourself online, actually going to shows which can be kind of fun. Hey, you get to go to a show. Go to a band and watch them play. Um, Learn about what they do. Do they write their own music? Are they a cover band? Um, If they record, go to a recording studio with them and shadow them. That is probably the best education you can get is just learning about other artists. And you could do that on YouTube and you can go see them live. So you know, go support your local bands. They need you. Um, And the tools that you have now can help you. If you don't have a studio, um, you do have a phone. And a lot of these phones, like I said, if you you are up for an upgrade, think about getting a phone that you can use a recording app on. Just kind of think ahead for those kind of tools if you can't afford to record in an actual studio. Now, if these are goals that you want to um, set for yourself to record in a studio, you need to have a budget. Um, It's not always in everyone's budget, but don't count anything out um, just because you can't afford something. Look for an alternative way to do it. And that's coming back to your phone once again. Um, Let's say maybe you don't have a phone that you can record on, but you have an upgrade coming up on your contract or you need to get an upgrade. Um, That is something to think about before you do that. So um, don't count yourself out just because you don't have the budget to do so. You Maybe you have a little mini recorder 
anything, anything that you can maybe transfer onto social media too, just to start a page so that you ha- your fans have something to go back to so they can actually hear something. Um, even if it's not the best quality, you want to, you kind of do want to hear it a little bit clearly, but um, if it's not like studio quality, um, as long as they get the idea of what you can do, is um, it's better to do something than nothing. So those, that was the last step. That was budget, budget for those things. And um, so those are the five steps that we have for you today in this segment. We have another segment coming up. Um, So I hope you follow us here at Melody Roots Podcast Radio for that next segment. Um, And we'll kind of get more into depth about how much things cost and what tools you will actually maybe consider using. Um, We'll just kind of get more into description of those things. And um, yeah, so I hope you like this this podcast let us know in the comments below on our channel on youtube or on facebook Um, give us a like and um, hope to hear from you and peace out thanks you guys